this is the back of my driveway where I usually park my car, which means this is the pathway I use to get into our house. Well, it's well worn and grass just isn't growing here anymore. So today I'm gonna correct that by extending the gravel from the driveway right up to the gate. Since I already have these stepping stones, I'm going to remove them for now and use them later in this project. With those out of the way, I'm ready to mark the edges of my pathway. I'm using my landscape edger that also adjusts to be a trencher. I'm making my path just as wide as the gate opening. Using a flat shovel, I'm able to scoop the top layer of grass and dirt so that the new gravel can be flush with the existing gravel and the ground around it. So now you can kind of see the layout of where the gravel is going to go, but I need a boundary right here underneath the gate so the gravel doesn't find its way into the backyard. So I'm going to reuse this piece of the 1x4 because I don't need a boundary at the driveway. This is a simple task for a reciprocating saw, but a jigsaw or even a wood chisel would work too. Pressure treated 1x4s were used when my driveway was created, so that's what I'm using here. After they were cut for the long sides, I had lumber left over that I'm cutting into stakes to help the 1x4s stay vertical. If you drive the stakes a little below the top edge of the 1x4, they will be hidden by the gravel later. Then attach everything together with exterior screws. One of the things that worked well about my gravel driveway is that we put landscape fabric down before we put the rocks on top and it's made it virtually maintenance free and I hate pulling weeds. So of course, more landscape fabrics going down here. I'm replacing my stepping stones, making sure they are level and equally spaced before I scoop gravel from the thicker parts of the driveway and relocate in my new pathway. Now there's a much more attractive walkway from our driveway to our backyard. And bonus, I don't have to edge around those stepping stones anymore. Thanks for checking in. I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.